I really hate weddings. We're missing Katie and Jenna. I guess we found Katie. I thought it was really interesting, your take on the modern day woman, how you have to be career oriented, but you need to have a husband. You have to be sexy, but not be slutty, sweet, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's really interesting for, for you guys in the entertainment industry as a director, as an actress, that you guys have to walk this fine line. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. What's, what's the most difficult or the hardest line you have to walk in this industry? I mean, you know, just that extra hour that you have to get up to put makeup on. Oh, that sucks. I hate that. You know, that just sucks. <laughs> I mean, men don't have to do that. But the nice thing is we're up an hour earlier. No one wants to be up early. <laughs> no. I don't want to be up early. Yeah, I mean, girls have a maintenance. Yeah. And I think I'm a very low-maintenance girl compared to some girls. But it's still, like, my hair is so frizzy and feral, usually. You wouldn't know And it. you have to straighten it. It looks really good. It takes, good. like, half an hour. Right. Guys right. don't have that pressure. No. Um, I find, personally, though, the, uh, the balance between career and love life is like really difficult mm. because like in our industry, the entertainment industry, we're traveling, we're um, working really intensely and I find it very hard to balance and have time for, for other things. And I feel like there's this like image that you're presenting as a writer and a director. Like, like when I go into a room to pitch something, I'm not, you know, there are a lot of male writers that could walk in wearing what they wore the day before to go to a coffee, you know, like, or grab the groceries. Like, I go in and I have an image that I'm projecting. And I think that's a lot what these characters are about, is that they're projecting a particular image, but on the inside, there's something a lot more complicated and weird and vulgar mm. and bizarre and disturbing. Totally. <laughs> and yes. that, you know, and to sort of, to, to juxtapose those things throughout the story of, of them going to their friend's marriage and, you know, all of that was just, it just seemed like an interesting analogy for it, yeah, you know, it, mostly. Yeah, it really was. It's yeah. cool. Um, as you know, you're the bride in the movie. The world is sort of yeah. revolving around you, and Kirsten's <laughs> character is doing everything she can for you. Yeah, um, so she should. As, she, as, as well yeah. she should, yeah. As she should. Um, as, as an actress, as a director, um, what's been the most... What most elegant perk you've had with the world revolving around you? Oh, wow. They had interesting answers in the other room. That's a good oh. question. I am, you know, just starting to get recognized now in America. And with that, I noticed you get free stuff. <laughs> such as? Sent to you, such as these shoes that I'm wearing right now. Sick Nikes. Uh, <laughs> sick high tops. Sick knees. Yeah. Um, it is also weird being on a film set and you have people fawning over you. You can understand why people become divas. Oh, like, yeah, Like, why yeah. movie stars become huge divas. Yeah. Because, you know, you wake up, you do nothing, you come to set, there's someone to do your hair, someone to do your makeup, someone dresses you. So we don't choose those, those outfits. gorgeous outfits. Somebody yeah. else thinks about that. Yeah. There's someone to bring you water, to bring you lunch. If you're standing in the sun, they hold an umbrella over you. They do, don't they? Yeah. I remember that umbrella guy. It is, um, it's very weird at first. Um, it's even weirder how quick you get used to it. <laughs> and you're like, where's right? my water? Yeah. Where? You know. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, it is weird, though. Yeah. But it, now that you're a famous um, writer slash director. I guess, like, the only real perk is that it's just, it's, especially as a playwright, it's easier to get produced. It was so difficult to get produced early on, and there are so many younger playwrights that I, I'm teaching a playwriting class later on this year, and, like, you know, I see them so discouraged, and I'm like, it, 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 is, it is so hard, but what's so, I'm so grateful for this experience and also for the play having been done that it just becomes easier. It just becomes like, uh, it, it, there's, there's proof that there's an audience for your voice, you know, whether it's a large audience or a small audience, you don't know, but, you know, yeah. like, um, and that's just as a writer, I'm just very grateful for, because that's actually, I think, the hardest part is getting produced. Writing is sort of easy, you know. Very cool. Last question, I'll let you guys mm -hmm. go. Sorry, just, it's really quick. Yeah. What would you, what's, what's worse, having a Mexican drinking worm tattooed to you or not having a wedding dress on your wedding day? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question. Imagine if it was your wedding and your dress wasn't there. Yeah. And you're turning up to your own huge wedding in a New York park with no dress. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, although if you get a really bad tattoo and it gets infected, 
is also harmful. Yeah. Yeah. Would you relax? What am I doing? All right, I'd like to see you man up. It's the best night of my life, you guys. I just want to give you what you want. What do I want? You want someone to put you in your place. Ah, come here. I really hate weddings. We're missing Katie and Jenna. Oh, yes, we found Katie.